Okay, welcome to another advanced example solves video and we'll start out again by doing two white cross example solves. So in this scramble I've got this one, this one, this one and this one back here and I can actually do a nice extended cross. So what I'm going to do is build an extended cross with this pair at the front left. So I'm going to use keyhole to do it. So I notice that if I do something like r prime d r2 from this position, that will insert this edge and this edge. And then if I do a d f prime, I'm going to insert this edge piece and this edge piece. Um, this edge piece will be solved into this position. So let's do that r prime d r2 d f prime. So then I've got this edge piece solved and its corner piece is back here. So in order to insert it with key, uh, insert it and form an extended cross using keyhole, I can just do r prime u prime r, then d2, just like that. And now I've got my x cross like that. Now I've got these two, which belong in this back left slot. Then I can go for these two into this back right slot. And then these two into the back right slot like that. And I've got OLL and then PLL. And I generally like to do my AUF before I do the H permutation because I sometimes find that doing AUF after the H permutation can be a little bit annoying. Okay, second scramble. So we'll go for white again. Um, I've got my four edges all insertable using one move only. Um, I guess how I'm going to tackle this is insert this white and green one first. So I'm going to do u prime r2 to bring this one, to solve this one and also bring this one to the front here. Then I can go f d prime r d2 like that. And for my first f to l pair, I'd probably go for these two. Then I guess I could go for these two into this slot. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm tracking these two. So I can pair them up and insert them there. Then I've got a case here, which is a little bit annoying. So uh, ideally I wanna keep my edges oriented, um, uh, edge, my last layer edges oriented whilst doing this pair. So I can do that in a number of different ways. I could do ru r prime and then solve the pair, or I could do ru two r prime and then solve the pair. Or another one that I like to do is r prime d prime r u prime r prime d r and then insert. Then I've got OLL and an F permutation. All right, the crosses on this scramble are all kind of trash. Um, the only one with an edge oriented is the blue cross, but that's not a particularly great solution, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we might end up just having to do it. So we can do something like L2 to solve that one, and then we can go R to insert this one, but this one isn't correct. Then we can go Y U prime, R D prime, R prime, D prime, just like that. And uh, it's really annoying, but yeah, we've got nothing for our first pair, nothing particularly good. Um, what I would probably do is rotate and do this one and this one. Then this one and this one. And I'm kind of tracking this and this, so I know that once I insert this pair into the back right, this edge will end up over here and this corner will end up down here. So I can go straight away and solve these two. And actually a nice way to multi-slot this pair and this pair is to do something like this. So R U prime, R2 prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then I've got anti soon and uh, N permutation. So I can go like this because that's uh, that would have no AUF after the N permutation from that angle. Okay, let's have a look at this scramble. And I noticed this yellow block here and yellow cross edge already oriented. So I'm gonna try and think about how I can use this uh, to make an extended cross. And this edge is over here, which is kind of nice because it's oriented. So we can do something like 
uh, R to move this edge out of the way, then F L U prime forms this block and then F2 R2 like that to do our extended cross on yellow. Then I've got this pair, then I probably go for this F to L pair, even though it's not very good. Um, if I rotate this way, then that will leave this edge oriented for my last F to L pair. Now I've got OLL and I know that um, this OLL algorithm will solve corner permutation in this case. And I'm also, I also know that I'm gonna end up with a red block here because this OLL algorithm also preserves um, this block. So as soon as I finish my OLL, I'm going to do a U move because this block ends up over here after the OLL. That solves the red side and then I have my U permutation like that. Alrighty, last solve for this video, and there's a few, there's many sides which have one edge oriented. There's the white side, where it looks, uh, looks okay. There's the orange side, which doesn't look as good. There is green, which again, doesn't look very good because we've got these two misoriented ones. Um, and there's yellow, and I guess, the yellow cross solution doesn't look too bad. So we can do something like this. So we go to solve these two first after this one. So D, F, R2, and then go white R prime, U, white R to solve this last one into the back slot there. Then for my first F to L pair, I can go for these two. Then for my second pair, I can go for this one and this one. Third pair, I'll go for these two and then final pair, OLL, and then G permutation. So it's kind of pretty straightforward, but nothing particularly easy.